name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace unto our hearts, that we to whom in the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever and ever. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you... O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Paratia Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear, sickness, and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to the work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. 
San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Kadungsod. Pray for us. St. James the Great. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We are Tuesday, week 18. It is the feast of St. Peter Julian Amard. Born at Nomuera, France, Peter Julian Amard become, became a parish priest in 1834 and joined the Marxists five years. He focused, he fostered Eucharistic adoration throughout his life and founded a religious order of priests, adorers of the Holy Eucharist, who came to be known as the priests of the Blessed Sacrament. Let us please stand to welcome our presiding priest, Father Joseph Landero. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins. With contrite hearts, let us ask the Lord for pardon and strength. We all say, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who adorned Saint Peter Julian Imard with the wonderful love for the sacred mysteries of the body and blood of your Son. Graciously grant that we too may be worthy to receive the delights he drew from this divine banquet. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The following message came to Jeremiah from the Lord. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, write all the words I have spoken to you in the book. For thus says the Lord, incurable is your wound, grievous your bruise. There is none to plead your cause, 
no remedy for your running sore, no healing for you. All your lovers have forgotten you. They do not seek you. I struck you as an enemy would strike, punished your cruelty. Why cry out over your wound? Your pain is without relief. Because of your great guilt, your numerous sins, I have done this to you. Thus says the Lord, See, I will restore the tents of Jacob. His dwellings I will pity. Pity shall be rebuilt upon hill, and palace restored as it was. From then will resound songs of praise, the laughter of happy men. I will make them not few, but many. They will not be tiny, for I will glorify them. His sons shall be as of old. His assembly before me shall stand firm. I will punish all his oppressors. His leader shall be one of his own, and his rulers shall come from his skin. When I summon him, he shall approach me. How else should one take the deadly risk of approaching me, says the Lord? You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Let this be written for the generation to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The children of your servants shall abide. Their prosperity shall continue in your presence. That the name of the Lord may be declared on Zion. His praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples gather together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side of the sea while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. 
Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once, Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O oh, you little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. After making the crossing, they came to land at Gennesaret. When the men of that place recognized him, they sent word to all the surrounding country. People brought to him all those who were sick and begged him that they may touch only the tassel on his cloak, and as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, in our Gospel today, the episode speaks of a theopany, which means a manifestation of Jesus' divinity. Because when the apostles were terrified due to the strong waves, the wind, Jesus assured them and told them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. And Peter, his reaction was to challenge, which also sometimes happened to us. We test the Lord. We challenge Him. Sabi ni Peter, If it is really you, Lord, command me to come to you on the water. Dear friends, we have to realize that in life, there are always trials, there are always challenges. They come along. We cannot avoid them. And our response should be faith, not to challenge God. Misan susubukan natin ang Diyos kung talagang andiyan ka, Panginoon, sige, gawin mo to. Sige, patunayan mo. Instead, we are all invited to always embrace, face, challenges and trials with faith. And Peter realized this because when he noticed that the winds were strong, he started to sink. And then he said, Lord, save me. There was humble faith in him, recognizing the presence of God. And so Jesus saved him. Once I bless a house, I realized they had posters in the living room, in the kitchen, kahit sa refrigerator. And yung poster, isa lang ang nakasulat. Let's keep believing because God is working. Yun lang ang nakasulat. I, after I blessed the house, I talked to the family. And they told me, yes, Father, that has been our slogan, like a motto, wherever we go. We always say to ourselves, let's keep believing God is working. And you know, Father, it works wonders. It strengthens our faith. It makes us renew. When there are challenges, there are trials in our moments of weakness, it sustains us that God is working. We just have to keep on believing in Him. Let us ask for an increase of faith. Faith is one of the three theological virtues from the Greek words entheos, which means from God. It's God's gift to us. Faith, hope, 
and charity. Let us ask for an increase of faith so that whatever it is we are facing in our moments of weakness, in our moments of struggles, even when we find life difficult and burdensome, we can always say, let's keep believing God is working. He is there. And He will make wonders if we just put our faith in Him. We stand for the intercessions. Let us make our prayers as God's faithful people looking to Jesus Christ as He encouraged the wavering faith of St. Peter. So we know He is always with us. His hand outstretched to strengthen us and raise us up. Son of God, save us. Son of God, save us. That the Church of God, visibly united around the successor of Peter and the Apostles, may be guided by the power of the Lord's presence amidst the crises and the storms that they encounter. Let us pray to the Lord. Son of God, God, save us. That there may be peace and justice in those nations divided by war and conflicts. Let us pray to the Lord. Son of God, God, save us. Save us. That those who are drifting aimlessly in the stormy seas of life may find in the church a haven of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Son of God, God save, save us. us. That the sick may find consolation in Christ's healing mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Son of God, save us. us. That the faithful departed may find heavenly rest in God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Son of God, save us. In silence, let us pray for our personal intentions, the Mass intentions for today, and those that have asked us to pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Son of God, save us. Lord God, as you receive these prayers, grant us strong faith and abiding trust in your Son, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of the, his holy church. O Lord, we pray, may these offerings of our service placed at your altar in commemoration of your holy saints be acceptable to you and grant that release from earthly attachments we may have our riches in you alone through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Father, most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, was to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the skips we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may be as the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we now pray. Our Father, who art, art in, in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, but say only the say word, the word, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray that we who are fortified by the power of this sacrament may learn through the example of your holy saints to seek you always above all things and to bear in this world the likeness of the new man, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to St. James the Great. O glorious St. James, zealous apostle, apostle behold, behold us, the, the people, people of God, God who are gathered under your under patronage, patronage, prostrating ourselves, ourselves before, before Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, our Master, Master and, Lord. and Lord. Through, Through your, your intercession, intercession, we pray, we pray for, for God's, God's grace, grace to become, become a, a true worshiping community of disciples, of disciples and a, a church, church of the poor, believing, believing firmly in him. him. Joyfully, joyfully living, living in harmony and solidarity, and solidarity with one another and with God. In the, in the spirit of faith and trust, and trust in the Lord, in the Lord, we also bring, bring to you our needs to pray, to pray for our, our intentions. You are the generous follower of the Lord, the tireless, tireless evangelizer, evangelizer of the word, the great apostle, and the courageous, courageous martyr, martyr for Christ, Christ before God's, God's throne in heaven. heaven. Unite, Unite and guide us under the, under the one banner of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Saint James the Great, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is offered. Let us go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Oh, uh -huh. 